Davy Klaassen and Joel Veldman matched the siders against Ekersay last week. Both signed a contract until 2018. By doing this, they've shown they want to stay with Ajax over the next few years and develop their game to an even higher level. But what do the coming years look like? Will more players stay on? How good are the youth players? And how important is it all to Frank de Boer? I'm very pleased with it. I think Ajax should be very happy that two pillars of the team commit themselves so clearly at their age. I think other lads could follow their example. It's a very young group that can take big steps to improve their game. If they do that by signing on for an extra two years, that would be great. I think other lads are starting to become aware of that. It must please you that the squad are positive about their opportunities for the future at Ajax. Yeah, certainly. It's important that the lads see that this is a good place to be, and that you can improve your game here. And that going abroad so early is often disadvantageous. If we want to create a great team here, this is a good start. But that does signal a change, doesn't it, building the team like this as opposed to how it was? Yeah, because you don't have to take two steps back first. You can come straight in at step five, and hopefully you can build up to step eight. That's the great thing about a group staying together. It also means you can put higher demands on the players. Do you have a vision of what Ajax's first team should look like in three years' time? Do you ever think Veltman and Klaassen will still be here with some other lads, that one, that one, that one? We'll supplement them with a few players from other clubs. Do you have a blueprint of a squad? Of course we do. We have to. We're already looking at the under-17s to see if there are players with the potential to make Ajax's first team. You have to think like that, and so we do. For example, if Klaassen leaves in two to three years' time, who should take his place then? If you ask me that now, I'll say that has to be Donny van der Beek, now on the under-17s. He plays on the under-19s now too. Yeah, he should be the one to replace Klaassen. So then you're not going to sign someone else for four years. When they come to Ajax, they want to play. A good atmosphere is important. It's like a composition, figuring out who fits the picture best, which talent is rising. Are we going to contract someone for two years? And we call these players helpers on our way to preparing our own talents for the first team. Or you could contract a great talent who's ready from day one and then hope he'll play for Ajax for four years, and then we can sell him on. When considering all this, it is of course crucial how good the youth players really are. Any regular visitor to the Ajax Academy will know that the older teams are brimming with talent. Almost every match offers attacks like these and great goals as well. I think we have a great many talented players on the under-19s and under-18s. They all have the potential to make the first team, probably even more so than in previous years. We have to take a good look at that. Luckily, we're playing the Jubilee League as well, because that's a good place to see how the talents perform. I think you have to be very careful with acquisitions from outside the club, that you don't frustrate your own academy. Frank de Boer very close to winning his fourth consecutive national title. And with the players on the first team expressing their will to stay on, and the great talents that are on their way up from the Ajax Academy the coming years will still offer Frank de Boer a challenge. Yes, of course. It's always been my intention to get back that feeling at Ajax that we used to have. The youth is our future. That we're all cheering when one of our players has made the first team and is then selected for the national team within two or three months because he's such a great talent. That's the feeling we want to get back. And of course, we want to perform well again.